Good morning, my name is Robert Burnside. I'm the uh, Type 3 Incident Commander for the Miller Complex. And uh, I want to talk about a few things today. Uh, first, I want to talk about the activity that people have seen and had a lot of questions and concern on over the last couple of days. And most of that fire activity has taken place in this Dutch Creek drainage. Uh, what's happened is we have this chunk of line that we've been un unable to put uh, direct hand line on. Uh, due to the ruggedness of the terrain and the risk to firefighters. We just haven't been able to get in there. It was attempted once and uh, was unsuccessful. And so what we've done is essentially back out to some places where we feel like we could, could hold this fire when needed uh, along the Pacific Crest Trail here and along Dutch Creek. And then we also have some contingency lines along uh, road system further to the, uh, to the north. Um, so th this fire has in essence been allowed to just slowly back its way down into Duck Creek as we manage and monitor that uh, using air resources when necessary to check up the uh, fire intensity. Um, but what's happened the last two days is, uh, is we had this spot fire here in the main fire and those two burned together and, uh, and burned this section out day before yesterday and then that got established and continued to back down into Dutch Creek and uh, backed its way down and then made a run back up towards itself yesterday and that put up a, a pretty large column of smoke as this as this section filled in and uh, was visible from quite a ways away but uh, in reality everything was well within uh, our containment line the smoke blew back in on itself and uh, and so really it's what it's doing is helping that fire come down to where we feel have some pretty good containment um, and now at this point the weather's turned for us uh, turned for the better uh, we're getting much cooler moderated weather conditions and uh, even a little bit of rain shower so hopefully uh, this thing starts to park itself and uh, will stay in place and we'll still see some creeping and smoldering still see a fair amount of smoke but uh, we really hope this fire is kind of where it's going to be until we get a season ending event that uh, that puts it to bed uh, so the other thing i wanted to talk about uh, besides the fire activity was uh, a little bigger picture you know people see this this big red blob on a map and and their first assumption of this is entire area has burned, it's black, uh, void of vegetation, and it's, it's really not the case. Uh, one of my other positions on a fire is a fire behavior analyst, and, and so I study a lot of the fire effects and fire intensity. And uh, fires like this, even though they cover a large area, they don't necessarily burn it all the same. There's different intensities based on uh, the heat of the day, the topography, the different fuel types. And so as fire burns across the landscape, it'll, it'll burn very hot in some places, it'll kill everything. And in others, it'll back through, it'll come neath, underneath the trees and clean out the old vegetation, uh, which really rejuvenates the forest and does a good thing. So uh, as it burns across there, it actually creates a very mosaic landscape where, where you'll have black areas, you'll have green with black underneath it, and even areas that the uh, fire burnt clear around and didn't, uh, didn't burn at all.